Hey everybody and welcome. This is Dr. Heather Carton, one of your Keto Reboot Coaches. There, trying to fix the light. I am super excited for day one. I just wanna check in, come on and check in and see how everybody's doing. So this seems like one of the easiest coaching jobs we have had, all of us together, because you guys seem to be getting it. You're following the plan. Hopefully the tools that we have given you in the resource guides and the file and the videos are all coming together because this honestly has been one of the easiest first 24 hours of coaching that we have had. I haven't had any crazy questions. It seems like everybody's right on target. So first of all, I wanna just give you a virtual high five. Give yourself a virtual high five, a pat on the back. Celebrate that you started the 60 hour reboot. Whether it's your first or your sixth, every beginner is a winner. So maybe you fell off the track a little bit, didn't drink something right on time, that's okay. We want you to celebrate you in every single step that you're taking. So if you're the person that this is super simple for, be engaged, help support, help everybody who may be having just a little bit of struggles. I know the first day for myself is always the hardest, that's getting rid of the glycogen, which the best way to do that is get out and get moving. Burn through the glucose, burn through the glycogen, let your body roll into that fat burning while you're sleeping or later this afternoon, and then everything gets easier. Drinking those ketones throughout the day through the products, the Better Broth, the Max, the tea, all of that is meant to help saturate your body with the BHB or the beta hydroxybutyrate so we don't have cravings, we feel satisfied, we have good moods. Again, this has been one of the easiest first 24 hours of coaching that we have had. You guys are doing fantastic. But if you are a person that's struggling, that's okay. Shout it out. Sometimes the first time or maybe the third time can be actually the hardest for some people. So just remember hour by hour. If you're a person, because I tried to go through and read several hundred comments, which generally says, okay, target this coaching. You guys are doing great. I don't see anyone really struggling. I don't see anyone who's really crying out for help and everyone's really supporting everybody else. So that is a huge big thank you. I did make some notes and as it says up above, it's off to be expected. So if you're experiencing some fatigue and that was a common word I saw, totally to be expected. Think of the campfire video. When we throw carbohydrates on the fire, the kindling, that gives us little bursts of energy. So if you've been eating through a 12 or 14 hour window, every time you have a carbohydrate and or excess protein, your body gets stimulated, you get a little glucose and it comes back down. That's your boost of energy. Maybe you're doing a lot of soda, a lot of tea, a lot of coffee, caffeine throughout the day. Those are stimulants, not to be confused with energy. So we've taken away those stimulants, which are simple and complex carbohydrates, and fruits and some veggies and caffeine as we take those away it's to be expected that your body will be a little bit fatigued bowel changes also to be expected you've taken away stimulants so your bowels may slow down or you're just drinking liquid so your body doesn't have to do much work and process it so it's going to go right through you so that can be again a gift to your nervous system as it calms down so I do want to celebrate each and every one of you and that's from the entire coaching staff everyone behind the scenes a couple thousand people who have been certified reboot coaches and I just want to let you know that what you're experiencing can be very normal. I saw amazing experiences of better, um, better vision, better cognition, better hearing somebody said, better energy. And so that is amazing and that's what you should be experiencing. But if you're maybe experiencing something that you're not quite sure because it's your first time reboot, I just saw a comment there. So first time we're doing great. Sleep will be a little bit off also because again, think of normally throughout the day that you're having all these little bursts of um, I would say carbohydrate activity where your body and digestive tract are having to work breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. It didn't have to work very hard throughout the day. So in order to trigger that nervous system to calm down, drink that better broth about 45 minutes before bedtime. Get some extra activity in tonight so you get your lymphatic system moving, you get your body moving, you get that glucose and glycogen out of your body so you go right into ketosis. And then a few hacks. I did see some people saying that they're hungry. So that can be a little normal the first time and we're all, our bodies are all confused. Dehydration, hunger, and appetite. You'll hear all of us coaches describe it differently. Some people People hear a growling, which is ghrelin, just a hormone. It really doesn't mean your stomach's hungry. It's just doing something down there. So if you're hungry, make sure that you're getting plenty of water in. You can drink it hot. You can drink it cold. You can munch on ice, anything that you want. It is absolutely okay to get an extra half a serving of a ketone in. If you're saying, you know what? I've had my broth. I've had my max. I've had my signal OS, but I'm still feeling hungry. I've had plenty of water. Then have a little more ketones or 
totally change what you're doing in your environment. When you get out and get moving, I moved my office in here today, get some good sunlight, call somebody, send five texts to people you haven't um, maybe said thank you to in a long time or said hello to in a long time. Practice that five, four, three, two, one, and see what happens to your gut. Because when you can calm down your nervous system, your gut will calm down as well. Or start listening to some music. Go watch a show that's very, very positive. Maybe a game show where people are always winning. Somebody always wins there. So go do that. Go crush a workout. Um, so if you're feeling a little fatigued, just change up what you're doing. If you're hungry or craving foods, again, change up what you're doing. Get out and get some movement brain distraction great do a crossword puzzle or go out and do some gardening i know it's a little nicer here in kansas it's not 104 today so it's a great time to get out but that sweating can be great for your lymphatic system to get detoxing things out um, we talked about connecting with your accountability partner or your support partner and see how they're doing your accountability partner as you heard coach dustin say doesn't have to be somebody actually doing the reboot, just a friend who wants you to have the best health possible. So Amanda, great job. Go out and I have that on my list too. Go organize something. Saturday we started cleaning out our loft area. Someone else when we were doing our pre-metabolic weigh-in at the office said they started cleaning out their closet. So go do something that also encourages your mental attitude that you're cleansing, you're detoxifying, give things away. Salvation Army or these other missions are always taking free things. Another way to encourage your body mentally inside and out to get rid of things that you do not need not only garbage but excess clothes we know that we overeat in abundance so get rid of the overabundance that you have in your house and give it to someone else away whether we gave coloring books and we gave some children books away a bunch of clothes and some bedding we no longer even have twin beds in our house so get rid of some of those things to divert your mind off of food and if you're a super organized person make sure that you're keeping track of your sheet I am very much a visual learner you can find this in the files under the optimization and the reboot manual you can see I'm just checking off what I'm doing and yes I did do the whole week because this is Monday Tuesday Wednesday for me and then we're gonna talk Tuesday a little bit how we reintroduce food on Wednesday but again however your mind works if you need to check it off like I do or maybe you just need to get out and get moving because again your guts used to digesting food many many hours a day get out and get moving if you can't get out maybe because of weather you've got small kiddos at home these are little hacks you guys can do at your desk job no matter where you are. You can do some dips from whatever chair you're sitting in, right? You can do squats off the potty, squats off the chair, anything like that. You can do some great inchworms to help get your core and stuff working out. You can do some jumping jacks just in your office cubicle. Jump up and touch the floor and jump up and touch the floor. Maybe every hour set the timer on your phone to metabolically do something. So again, if you're drinking lots of water, I know you're going to the restroom, get those extra squats in. You can get dips off your office chair. Again, or do something mentally. Do a random act of kindness. Send some tech messages to somebody that you haven't said hi to for a long time. So I really wanted to jump on here to actually, yeah, elliptical is actually great, Carmen. So generally I have hundreds of questions up here. I don't see hundreds of questions. It seems like you guys are doing amazing. So from the coaching staff, hello around the globe. We know we have people participating at all different time zones, all different areas. So some of you may just be taking your Signal OS. Some of you may be doing your Mac. Some of you may be doing, that's why I'm doing my Macs. It's three o'clock clock Kansas time some of you may be doing your better broth so in between that just make sure you're getting water in your body and if you do happen to have an oops moment or an autopilot moment know that that's okay every beginner is a winner so if you happen to get off the schedule no worries get right back on the schedule get your product in your body and listen to your body so if you're experiencing a little bit of nausea because I just saw that four or five times or a little tummy fatigue just drink the ketones a little bit slower let your body absorb them at a slower rate than just chugging them down no you may not chew gum because when your body's chewing because chewing it actually tells our body food is coming all the digestive organs gets going even on a non reboot I would tell you do not chew gum because again it stimulates your body to chewing we don't even chew our dinner or lunch 30 minutes and people chew gum for 35 to 40 minutes to an hour well again it's an action that your body says oh food's coming let's dump some insulin let's get the stomach acid ready hey gallbladder there may be some salts needed so don't chew gum I probably went longer on that and no caffeine or no coffee is asked that's always a great question um, I'm just gonna run through these questions and that's really all I have for you guys I just want to check in make sure that you are staying on track again and everyone's in a different time zone if you work a nighttime shift your day may start at 4 a.m. or some other people's days don't start till 8 a.m. just adjust that schedule coaches are popping on through here throughout the day really just to encourage you to make sure that you're not having any 
major questions. Hopefully all the videos, all the files actually have those simple questions answered because really guys, what it is, it's just this today, it's this tomorrow, and just add water. It really is that simple. If you're a planner, start thinking ahead of how you would like to see your Wednesday celebration be. So kind of focus on Wednesday morning, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get my friends together that are doing this. We're gonna all celebrate together. I'm gonna have my keto cream first thing. I'm gonna tell you that that's the first thing I'm gonna have. And you can look ahead at that in the reboot manual of doing some eggs or some broth or just some sauteed greens. Um, Anyone who's having dizziness or lightheadedness, that's a great question. Some of it can be because you've maybe um, reduced the caffeine. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Have a pinch of sea salt. So you can either just pinch it on your hand, you can put it in your water, an extra pinch in your broth, an extra pinch in your max. Any of that is great. But if you're, again, having that lightheadedness, just have a nice big pinch of hemp, hemp, pink Himalayan sea salt. Sorry, or some Celtic salt or kosher salt. So great, I love, I'm just gonna make sure I'm missing no questions here, and hello to everybody. Gosh, you guys, I think you've got the questions down there, so make sure you've got your notifications turned on because Coach Rob will be back tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be checking in tomorrow throughout the day as well. Again, I think you guys are having an amazing, amazing uh, transformation here in our first less than 24 hours. So Ashley, if it's a headache, make sure it's either due to dehydration Maybe it's a caffeine withdrawal that can happen as well or a carbohydrate withdrawal because foods can do that as well. So if you're having a headache, get moving, get your muscles loose, loosen up your head, don't chew gum, maybe take a nice Epsom salt bath or again, go do some yoga, some deep breathing, see if you can relax some of that headache and tension. Make sure number one, you're getting enough water. Number two, take a pinch of sea salt. Alicia, Isha, I think it said, Aisha, moodiness is absolutely normal. I have a three minute video in the video section about having some mood changes. We know that we um, eat to celebrate, we eat more sad, we eat just because, we eat when we're bored, so we're taking away some of that go-to tools that you've used for emotional coping. Um, listen to Coach Mitch's uh, chat earlier this morning, it's just about a few, four or five minutes, great talking about um, how we actually can choose how we eat food. Food is meant to give our body nourishment, but we I have been on, we've been trained to have food be our comfort food, our celebration tool, our sadness tool, our boredom tool. So it is normal to have some up and downs with emotion. We do know that because you're not needing much, in, much insulin today because you're not drinking ketones, I'm sorry, because you're not having carbohydrates, you're not needing insulin, that insulin actually yo-yos those moods up and down. And we know that ketones actually help our anti-anxiety. It helps balance out our nervous system. So that's very, very normally normal. Sorry, I'm gonna take a drink here, guys. Dry mouth is very, very normal. It means your body is in ketosis. So that's very normal if you're feeling the same thing I am. We do not recommend sparkling water. It actually bloats the stomach, can make your stomach feel more dis distended, and also can result in actually dehydration because you won't drink water because your stomach feels full. So I do not recommend doing any sparkling water. So if you're feeling a little jittery with the OS capsules, it's got a great amount of vitamin B6, B12, just take down to one at a time. So you can do one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and that way maybe you have an extra capsule or two on Wednesday or Thursday. That is absolutely okay. So if you feel jittery from two, then just use one or make sure you use a caffeine-free max. So you chewed gum this morning, Kelly. You didn't know what you didn't know. So now you know you're just not gonna do it tomorrow. So do not worry what you didn't know you didn't know. And that's okay. So again, just don't do gum from here on out. So Lola's got a Dr. Lola Cap's great suggestion. Take a nice Epsom salt bath. You can use some essential oils to help relax your headache, to relax your body. Um, Brandy, being bloated is actually normal. So any digestive, digestive changes. So when I say ah, to be expected, that can be constipation, it can be diarrhea, it can be bloating. We are changing the pH of your body's chemistry because our body's meant to be, our stomach's meant to be a very low acid. That's how it burns all the critters in there. So as we're changing the pH of your stomach, which is very positive through the ketones, then you may experience some bloating. Just go with it, I, it will go away. But again, a nice Epsom salt bath can cure a lot of things. It can help rebalance out your body's pH. Our skin is our largest organ. So as you get in a nice warm tub with some Epsom salt, maybe some essential oils, you're gonna feel, feel your body really getting to a nice kind of equilateral space where it'll really balance out. And if you don't have time for a whole bathtub, just stick your feet in actually a pool of Epsom salt. We know our feet sweat, they detoxify, they absorb stuff. So just even stick your feet in a bucket at work or something or a trash can and some Epsom salt, it's all good to go. Just line it with a plastic liner or make sure it's clean. 
So it is you do not have to test your ketones throughout the day. That's a great question. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do. More biohacking people may want to do that. You are drinking ketones five times throughout the day. So it is to be expected that your ketone level should be nice and elevated. Again, your body uses them if you're, if you're feeling nauseated and maybe you're drinking yours a little bit slower. It's going to be a little bit different reading on your meter, your blood meter or your meter because if you just chug it, you're going to really spike those ketone levels which will help take away some hunger. It'll help take away maybe a little bit of moodiness. So maybe that would be a time to drink it a little bit quicker if you're not having any nausea with that. I think I we've gotten just about everybody's questions answered. So on water, whether it's reverse osmosis, distilled water, pH water, we just like plain water, no effervescence during the reboot. When you're off the reboot in the optimization period, yes, you can use different types of waters. Just right now, we want to give your body a break. We want to have you have the best experience possible. And yes, Char, absolutely exercise during the reboot. I think you popped on here late, but I did show some of the workouts and, and Coach Rob talked last night about today is going after glycogen. What does that mean? That means that we don't store glucose or glycogen for very long and that's really what sugar breaks down into. So as soon as we can, or as quickly as we can get rid of glucose and glycogen, which would be in exercising and moving around, then our body will say, hey, I got some stored fat over here. I'm gonna tap into my own ketones plus how you're saturating your body with the Reboot Kit product. So absolutely go after glycogen. You will hear a lot of people fasting before fitness and get amazing workouts. So I expect to hear your workouts are crazy amazing. Even I was reading that um, one of the, it was, I think Aristotle actually had his students fast, which was no carbohydrates, no sugar. We are not doing a true fast here. I don't want to make sure I don't confuse my words because we are consuming calories. We are not truly fasting, but we are abstaining from chewing food. We are getting nutrients in all of our products. So congratulations to each and every one of you. A big high five virtually, a big pat on the back. Celebrate any way you can. Post your celebrations down here below. I want to hear and see how your day is going because we are checking on here. There's a whole, whole bunch of hosts of coaches doing an amazing job checking in on you people who've done five or six reboots you're doing an amazing job supporting people who may be a first or second timer if you have a question can't find it please go to the videos first then go to the files then slide over to pictures you see a lot of posts there that have just some of the same pictures I just posted for you guys you will find right there so again for me the easiest thing is I have a timer set in my phone because I have a busy day and then again I'm just checking off as I'm doing all of my all of my products throughout the day. So again, celebrate you. It sounds like you guys are having a crazy, amazing time. Look for Coach Rob tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 9% Eastern Time. And then again, keep your notifications on. If you're having questions, please review to the video or to the pin post, which has all the stuff. Print off the Reboot Optimization Manual. So that will also help you answer a ton of questions. So you guys have a blessed day. I feel super blessed to be on this journey with you and hearing all your amazing, uh, all your amazing transformations and experiences. I look forward to seeing you guys soon.